for the sign of Libra, hello and welcome to my channel. Yes. So Libra, in the recent past, we've got the Seven of Cups and the Moon card. Seven of Cups is a card about choices. It indicates confusion. It points to disorganization, having too much going on. So you could have been dealing with someone like this in the recent past. So this person probably could have been doing too much and doing it doing most of it not really well it would have been important for them to just choose a few things that were on their plate and try to work through them one by one so with this seven of cups you could start to feel overwhelmed it's about evaluating your choices now it's paired with the moon card the moon card you could start to feel you maybe you started to feel psychic and intuitive so it would have been important for you to trust your instincts at that time you trust your instincts and your impressions even if you were not sure where it was coming from also not that you needed to be mistrusting but it would have been helpful for you to realize that when this card appears it's possible that all is probably not what it seemed to be and if you felt in the recent past that you could not trust someone, then you probably could not. It was about going with your gut instincts. And if you were waiting on an answer from, from someone in the recent past, it probably took longer than you would have liked for it to. So it looks like you had to stay patient. So basically in the recent past, Seven of Cups, the Moon card with these two cards paired together, could have been dealing with someone that had a lot of options. They kept the door open and it made you feel like there was deception in this connection so you might have started to hold yourself back you didn't trust the connection because you you saw that they had a lot of maybe a lot of maybe several romantic choices so you felt there was deception and your person was holding back um, you might have felt like they were wearing a mask and not saying how they really and truly feel. That's what you get with the moon card. So basically, you yeah, you dealt with someone that had that kept the door open. It wasn't about you and them. Yep, they were a juggler. And you just didn't trust the connection. Your instincts were telling you this is probably not a good thing so you didn't trust the connection and you felt like the person just they weren't really being upfront and genuine so that's the recent past so let's move on over let's take a look and see what you got coming up for third week of august we got this beautiful two of cups and the fool card two of cups is about romantic partnership but that's not its only connotation it can speak of balance friendship joy sharing it's showing that things will be going really, really well for you. You'll be feeling more than usually loved, cared for, and content. Now, this Two of Cups is about having the ideal partner. There's a harmony there. It's a deep union. It's a deep connection. A very romantic love. It's a partnership. It could lead to marriage, proposal, beautiful card in the tarot, the Two of Cups. A lot of love is there but we got this fool card here now the fool card is about being ready for a new beginning um, it it indicates the purity and the open-hearted energy and the innocence of a child we know children they're trusting and this card forms the meaning well children they're trusting and trust forms the meaning the basis of meaning for this card it's considered a positive card in the tarot, but it's important to take time to be sure that you're looking where you're going, trusting yourself to take a step into the unknown. That's one thing, but if you do so without any thought whatsoever, it could be a big mistake. Yep. so I say it could be a big mistake because um, it looks like this young man in the fool card, the card that's below the word present, he's ready to he's just ready to jump in take a leap but he's not really watching where he's going uh he's about to walk off of a cliff 
and land right into the Pacific Ocean. Right below him is all blue water. Looks like eternity, like water just goes on for days. So you're ready to take a leap. You got some new, new great love coming in, the ideal person. Or this is the person that you're dealing with and the relationship, it goes to the next level. Marriage, proposal, just beautiful. And you're just ready to jump right in. So you got something really good coming up, Libra. And a lot of you are saying, oh, there's no new love coming my way. Well, okay, maybe so. It's a good, it's a darn good opportunity that's that you that's going to be presented to you. And you're going to be ready to go for it. Just jump right in. So that's what we got for the present time. Let's see what the challenge is going to be for you. We got the magician and it's paired with the emperor. Now the emperor. Well, the magician, let's start with the magician. It signifies new beginnings, great expectations. It reminds us that we have the power to make a difference in our lives and in other aspects of the world if we simply try to make it a point. So just know you're not going to have it all handed to you on a plate, though. But you have the potential to have that plate and a lot of what's on it if you do the magic yourself. The magician is all about action, so if you do nothing, you'll get nothing. And if you don't know what to do, if you're not sure, make sure you do something. Because anything is better than nothing. In other words, if you don't try, you won't get. The magician is actually about having manifestation powers. So it's a really good time to make a lot of things happen for you. Now, it's paired with the emperor. The emperor... It shows that domination over the mind, over the heart, is sometimes necessary even though it's not wanted. In fact, it should be welcomed and that's what you have to think about when you get this card in a reading because when hard choices must be made, it's important to maintain your con concentration and focus. The Emperor, it signals this, but it also signals that now is the time you'll find it easier to make hard choices. So enjoy the assertiveness and confidence that the self-control and focus brings forge ahead do what you know is best because if you can master yourself then you'll have little problems mastering most of the obstacles that life can throw at you so I guess you're saying what does that mean what did I just say well it looks like you could be dealing with someone who manifested a connection with you like I said the magician is about manifestation powers it could be this person from the that we're shown, that we're seeing in the present time, this with this two of cups, this ideal person, maybe they manifested this connection with you, or they're manifesting something great with you. But this person is like the emperor, though. They have a hard time sh showing emotion. Yeah, because the emperor, they have a hard time opening up their heart. They they never want to come across as being vulnerable. This person could be a leader, boss, really arrogant. So you, you're going to have a hard time knowing where you stand with this person when it comes to matters of the heart. But I'm picking up this person has a lot of... If it's the same person that we talked about in the present time with the Two of Cups, this person has a lot of love for you. If it's not the person we talked about from the present time, then you're dealing with someone else that manifests, that's manifesting a connection with you, but you won't know it though. You're not going to, you're not going to feel like they, you may not feel like they are even interested in you because the emperor is the type of person they'd rather have you die wanting to know. They don't show any emotion. But you got someone here that's manifesting a connection with you. Maybe it's this two of cups. Maybe it's someone new. Maybe it's someone you, someone else you already know. Yes, but you won't know it though. They don't show any emotion. Somebody is manifesting something, something with you. Somebody wants to be with you. But let's see what the outcome is. So we got the Sun card, and it's with the Four of Cups. Now the Sun card is beautiful. 
It's really beautiful, the sun card. You see how it pops out of over all the cards in the reading, it pops out. Things will be going really well for you. Your finances, they're in great shape. It doesn't mean that you should lose focus on what's important in life. Because for a lot of you Libras, money is not high on the list. I know for a lot of you it is. I know for me it is. It's a good time to socialize, meet new people, get out and about. And if you're looking for a new job, it's right around the corner. Now, if you're in a committed relationship, um, things are really great with the sun card. You add a lot of sunshine to your person's life. Bright and happy days. That's the sun card. Now, it's with this four of cups, which is interesting because you see how this man, he's sitting on the grass. He looks like he might be at the park. And he's kind of like stuck in his head. He's looking down. He's looking down with regret. That's what the Four of Cups is about. Feeling unimportant, devalued, rejected. Uh, it can start to make you feel rigid and uptight. <laughs> so you, you might play aloof. This Four of Cups is, is about wishful thinking. So you have to remind yourself to pay attention to what is now and count your blessings and not to worry about not to worry too much about what could be or what you wish it was. Because it's really easy to overlook what we already have in pursuit of what we don't have. So it's about trying making sure you count your blessings. I know you can't see a close up of this four of cups, which is the card below the word outcome, but his man's his hand has blood all over his hand and he's He's not even able to get up and take care of himself because he's just stuck in wishful thinking and regret. So, wow, that's the outcome. So, you got someone that manifests, that's manifesting a connection with you. You're ready to jump right in. It feels good, like the ideal situation, ideal partner. Um, you add a lot of sunshine to this person's life. They probably add a lot of sunshine to yours, but for some reason you feel unimportant. You feel maybe unloved, rejected. And I'm picking up it's probably because this person doesn't show any emotions. I don't know if you've ever been with anyone like that, but there are some people that have a lot of love for you, but they don't have, they don't know how to express themselves. They don't know how to let you know that you're the one. So you got someone that feels like you're the one. They manifested this with you, but they don't know how to open up their heart and show you or tell you in the way that you think they should. So you got all these emotions, you got all these emotions and feelings coming up in August for someone that manifested this connection with you and it feels like it's the ideal person. Could be someone you're already with or it could be someone new coming towards you, but they don't open up. So you start to feel like maybe this person doesn't love you like you love them. So you might start to feel unimportant or maybe rejected because this person just, they don't know how to tell you that they got a lot of love for you and that you make them really happy and that you're the one that they want. You're the one that they manifested the connection with, but you would never know it. So you're going to have to take my word for it, Libras. This person's got a lot of love for you. Um, yeah, you make them really happy. They want you to just jump right in and take a leap, take a leap of faith. But you feel like you, you should hold back. You feel like going to the park and just <laughs> sitting by yourself and wishing that this person would open up, but they don't. And they probably never will in the way that you would like for them to. So Libra, that's the reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, 
hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. In the next few weeks. In the next few weeks.